Visit HUDKing.com for other HUDKing real virtual tours. And while you're there, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or use your Gmail account to log into YouTube and subscribe to our HUDKing video page. We are here at 3903 Mas Frio. That's 3903 Mas Frio. This home is located in the Monte Viejo subdivision. As you can see, it's a nice single story home. It sits on a corner lot. You do have a few trees. Really beautiful exterior. It has a nice combination of hardy plank siding, which is a cement board, brick and stone. You have a nice little step up to the patio there. This home sits on about a 7,700 square foot lot, built in 2005. It's approximately 1,720 square feet. Let's take a look at the backyard. This is a view of the backyard. It's not a terribly deep yard, but you do have extra space on the side here. Now exterior wise I just noticed one small thing. By this window there is a little bit of wood rot. It's pretty minor. And then there's a small piece of chipped siding here. But other than that the exterior is in good condition. Let me take you inside. Well as we enter the home you'll notice that it has been tiled throughout which is nice because just a little less maintenance than if you have carpet. Now the first room that you're in is a big combined living and dining room. As you can see, it is going to need a fresh coat of paint. Flooring wise, I mean you could keep the tile. Tile's not really damaged. There's a little bit of sheetrock damage here. And then immediately to the right upon walking in from the front door you have an office. French doors into this office. Not a huge room, probably about a 11 by 11. You do have a closet here that's missing the doors. So this room could actually be a potential fourth bedroom in this home if you were to change the doors or put some kind of curtains there for privacy. We continue through and we are now into the kitchen. You have a nice little island here in the kitchen. Kitchen has an electric range and dishwasher. It has a really pretty backsplash. Lots of cabinet space. Room for your refrigerator there. And then you have a second dining area or a breakfast area here. Whatever you want to use it for. You could even use this for your dining in the other room up front for just an additional living space. And you have an indoor utility room. Your washer and dryer connections are here in the kitchen which you can close off, giving you a little more quietness while you're doing your laundry. And then you have an indoor pantry. I see pantry right here. Now the other three bedrooms will be around the corner. We'll make our way this way. Here you're going to have bathroom number one. Now one thing about this bathroom, I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but it is an oversized door. Huge door for the bathroom. Maybe there was somebody who needed uh, a wheelchair access or something, but it's a single vanity, shower and tub combo, pretty basic, it's been tiled. At the back of the home you have your master bedroom which is about an 18 by 16, really nice size master, really pretty recessed ceiling too. Master bath has dual vanities and the master bath has a shower only, it does not have a tub, which for a lot of people is not a big deal, not many people take uh, baths nowadays. As opposed to showers, you have your commode here. And then you have a big linen closet. That's a big linen closet. And then the walk-in closet here. So it's a good size walk-in master. Basically that room really doesn't need much. It doesn't need anything. Touch-up paint. The whole house really just needs touch-up paint. Here's bedroom number two. Pretty standard bedroom. There's a little bit of window sill damage there but that can be addressed very easily. And then the closet. Now one interesting thing about this home is all of the doors are really wide. So I guess when they had this home constructed they opted for an upgrade of really wide doors. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number three you can see has a damaged door there. But this room actually looks like it, uh, they were attempting to repaint it. You can see they covered the smoke detector there. But it obviously needs painting down below and a couple of fixtures. And then we have the garage here. Step down into your two car garage. Single bay door. So that's one kind of neat thing about this home is it does sit up high. And that's about it guys. Let me give you guys a formal summary. Well there it is guys. 3903 Mas Frio. Very pretty three bedroom, two bath home. Built in 2005. It's a little over 1720 square feet. Almost in move in condition. The home is listed right now for $127,000. Great opportunity to own this home. It needs very little cosmetic work. So guys, if you don't have a realtor, I'd love to earn your business. 
You can reach me at 210-706-0616. That's 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I'm the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.